In 2013, the University of Ohio donated more than 15,000 tons of fossils to the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. This contribution has provided rich opportunities for scientific research into the future and the past. This was a tremendous collection of around 550,000 specimens of marine invertebrates and vertebrates. Royal Mapes and his wife, Jean Mapes, they were professors at Ohio University. And over the last 45 years, they've been collecting fossils. Most of the fossils they collect are marine fossils in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas. We don't have a good representation of that in our collections already. Ammonoids belong to the group cephalopods, part of the mollusks, and the cephalopods are distinguished from the clams and the snails, and that cephalopods learned how to swim in the water. So when you think of cephalopods, there's octopus, there's squids, there's the pearly nautilus, and the ammonoids are a big part of it, but that group of cephalopods is now extinct. What we see is their beautiful outer shell, but there is a complex internal anatomy, including the jaws, and in uh, the MAPES collection, there are uh, many specimens that have preserved their jaws inside the shell. So it's a very rare occurrence. It takes very unusual circumstances, but, but it's just perfect for our research. And it lets me understand the behavior and anatomy of aminoids a lot better. Royal and his wife have an innate ability to collect and find and collect fossil sharks and other fossil fish in remarkably good preservation in places where nobody else has been able to find them. These are almost three-dimensional. Uh, they're not flat and crushed and broken. They're beautifully preserved fossils that we can then scan and uh, in the computer we can extract the, um, the, 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 the skeletal structures in a great deal of uh, detail. This is a complete head of a little tiny shark inside this rock, there's every little piece of all these gill arches and all the rest of the skeleton, the jaws and other things. Everything's preserved in exquisite detail, but you can only see it by scanning it and processing the scan using computer technology. And that's what we've been doing. This is one of these fossils from Arkansas, which I think should be renamed Sharkansaw, that is so spectacular, even though it doesn't look like much. Uh, in, in scientific terms, it's really significant. It's, it's, it's a major discovery. It's not just getting a whole bunch of new fossils, but it's what they are and what they represent that, that's really important to us. You know, you always look to future generations. I see the value of this collection, the treasures in this collection, but graduate students in the future, curators in the future, are going to be able to mine this collection for generations to come. For more from the American Museum of Natural History, check out the link on our website.